GM Fox fan. Let's see if I can catch this. Oh, missed it by a second. Uh, we'll keep working on that transition sometime. Welcome to Unsolved User Problems. Um, I'm going to pass it off to Lich, though, because she's the one leading it this time. So, what up, Fox fam? Hey, hey, good morning, Fox fam. Good morning, squad. And Mr. Fox. Hey. Um, yeah, could we maybe wait a minute or two? If you want, um, in case um, people will start trickling. And I think uh, there would be a Zoom link in the stage chat if you want to watch um, whatever the book board or the tickets that we have. Is that in the stage chat as well? Yep. Did we want to start with uh, the bug board? Sure. Yeah, I think that's good. Cool. I've got it up on the scene. Cool. Um, well, as you can see, um, if you scroll over to the right over by acceptance, testing and done, um, engineers are making some great progress on a lot of these, um, which is great news. Um, you'll see there's a handful still there being worked on. None of these are, uh, you know, massive bugs or preventing users from accessing their funds. Um, so this is uh, all progressing well. Um, Obviously, we can. If anyone has any questions on any of these, by all means, ask. And uh, if the community just wants to see kind of what we're working on, definitely take a look. Um, but yeah, one so, of the. Yeah. Sorry, Gil. go. Ahead. Um, I was going to say, um, if you're just joining us, this is the first time we've had GitHub board on here, and I have a, a feeling how we handle these tickets and how we can talk about them and how we could potentially even bounty them out in the future will change over time in this meeting too. So um, we will be learning how to communicate more about this board too as these calls go on. Yeah, but if, you, if you're looking at these and be like, oh, I would love to either figure out how to fix that or have an idea of how to fix it, you know, please do uh, either raise your hand in here or feel free to uh, hop into the engineering public channel, make a post, um, or you could just direct message me and uh, we could talk about how to get you onboarded. But uh, these are all uh, being, you know, either will be worked on or uh, are being worked on currently. Um, I was going to say uh, just a general update. Uh, Nanik, who was one of our uh, centralized bug squashers, as today is his last day. Um, we'll see if he wants to, you know, continue contributing to the DAO personally. But uh, at least his contract position's over now. Um, so Eric is our only uh, gorilla still left with us for the time being. So. Um, we're definitely going to start seeing, as we discussed last week, more and more focus on these V2 bugs and issues, um, but we still have the centralized uh, bugs as well. Um, but unless those are really affecting users' ability to interact with money, um, I can really start to see those starting to like take a back seat as we try to get V2 up to parity and well beyond it. Um either Lich or Tyler or anyone, any questions on any of these bugs? We get, I, I don't think we need to go through every single one of them. If not, we can uh, start talking about some of these centralized bug tickets. Yeah, sure. Oh, I just wanted to ask, um, is the Kanban board still up, or should um, all of our bugs be consolidated in this GitHub? It is not. We got rid of the Kanban board of the DevOps team. Uh, some good cost savings going on there. Really, the only thing... Only people on Commonize were myself and uh, a couple of these gorilla bug squashers. Um, so we are now off that. Um, we kind of have to figure out how we want to handle it because obviously some of the centralized systems are uh, are closed source and don't have you know aren't connected to this GitHub repo. Um, so we're right now handling a lot of those offline. 
Um, but yeah, uh, tomorrow is the retro for uh, V2 launch, and a lot of the engineers are actually going to be attending that live in Denver. I, I will be as well, so I'm probably going to try to get some FaceTime with DeFi Cafe and, and, and a few others and uh, probably chat about what we want as the best solution. So more updates on that to come. Cool, cool. Yeah, nice. Um, I don't have any more questions about the um, tickets are in GitHub. Yeah. So if you want, we could dive yeah. into the triage sheet. Love it. Love it, love it. So just seeing the new bolded lines, I see there's two about Rune. Um, I was just hearing from Adam and middle name. It sounds like they have a you know, solutions, whatever hiccup they ran into and in getting the nodes and uh, ingestors all caught up. Um, so Thorchain hopefully will be back online. What did, I don't think they gave me a, a date, but hopefully later today. Um, okay. But uh, yeah, um, we'll, we'll want to retest all those and... Uh, and because we have a couple bugs as well about Thorchain, but yeah, probably won't be able to tackle those until that's back online. Yeah, the squad will be waiting for the tag um, once Thorchain is up so we could do our um, testing as well. Yes. But yeah. um, that next one cannot read properly. Symbol of undefined when connecting Kiki to Windows. Is that the one uh, that, uh, what's his name, was mentioning in the public engineering? Let me pull this up. I don't know, it was in the triage. Yeah, Major Hayes. Um, For the key key, uh, I think you were talking with Donna, if I'm not mistaken. Same. Oh, that I'm not okay. So I wasn't sure which keep key issue that was. If this was the one Major Hayes mentioned or the one Donna mentioned, yeah. um, that keep key one that Donna mentioned, I'm having her try to see if the keep key connect it will connect to V2 um, as opposed mm -hmm. to beta. Um, see if that will resolve it. I'm really surprised the keep key bridge didn't work. Um, so waiting for a follow up from her, um, but I'm hoping that yeah, the V2 resolves it. And then I is know this a, is this a Windows issue? Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> um, and then I know in the triage channel, uh, Major Hayes posted about not being able to connect his keep key as well and was talking with never was um, a good amount. I'm not sure if they got to this, got to a solution. Yeah, me yeah. and never was could not recreate this. I think never was um, could give more info on this. Yeah, please do. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Um, yeah, both Lich and I were were talking about it and um, working through it. We were able to connect it without a problem. Um, Major Hayes um, identified some um, uh, uh, calls that were being made by the Keep Key um, for different types of assets, and they were going as um, undisclosed calls in the in the console in the web browser uh, he we were trying a couple different browsers chromium based browsers so he tried chrome brave and vivaldi was the third one and um we had a call uh well we were in a call where um mr nerd hair was on there with major hayes and we were going over um how they believed that they could make these calls more effectively um to the keep key basically eliminate some of the unresolved um, multiple calls that were happening. So I think um, that's something that they're going to work on and, and get it out, you know, um, just to even just make it more efficient and effective uh, for all the browsers. Awesome. Love to hear that. That's great. Um, cool. Well, if you hear any updates on that, I'll, I'll follow along on that uh, thread as well. But uh, yeah, feel free to update us next week um, during this meeting if we do see any updates from there. Um, and then um, I'll stay in contact with Donna about the specific cannot read symbol one as well. Sorry to interrupt. In, what you're no, it's okay. I was interrupting. Um, in looking at that cannot read property of symbol ticket, it looks like the user is fine if they're not logged in. It's only if they're logging in that this issue is created. So I'd love to understand, um, especially with auth 
going away soon if there's something specific the user was um, benefiting by being logged in while looking at their hardware wallet, or if um, this could really just be nipped in the bud by letting them know that um, the best way to interact with this hardware wallet is to just do so not logged in. Nice. Um, well, yeah, v, if, if they can connect to V2, that should uh, give us some more insight because obviously there's no auth with V2 right now or hopefully ever will be. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, I'll wait for Donna's response. But, yeah, hopefully if V2 resolves it, then I'd say let's just keep using V2 as a solution until auth gets completely deprecated. Yeah, or, I mean, even at this point, they can even use V1 just not logged in. Because true. Um, true, true. there's there's no no rainfall isn't active anymore, so they're not running winning any box rewards by being connected to anything. It's I can't yeah, think true. of any benefits from my mind of why they would need a hardware wallet connected to an old ac- account. You know, um, I could be missing something. Maybe someone else in the audience or maybe someone on stage has got an idea of why. A user would still need that feature for something, but I think maybe we can just strongly encourage them to use this hardware wallet not logged in and that th- there's no risk of them losing out on anything by doing so. Completely agreed. Um, yeah, really the only benefit now is public key uh, storage so that you know when you log in, it remembers your balances and all that. But yeah, just connecting a wallet does just that as well. So yeah, I can't think of any reasons, but... Um, yeah, hopefully that's a solution then. Um, then that last one, remove gas estimate. I, uh, messaged the gorillas offline, uh, just with information about that until we have a solution to that next bug board. But yeah, that one was, is notated and, and recorded and, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get, uh, a resolution for that one as well. Nice. Nice. Um, what, we need a GitHub ticket for this? Or? No, because it's interacting with our centralized system, so there's nothing to link the GitHub ticket to since exactly. the GitHub links to the open source repo. Um, so that's why I just kind of met, DM'd the issue, um, and hopefully they can take a look at it without, uh, you know, people who still have access to the centralized uh, backends can take a look at it without having to need a ticket, but we might just, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll follow that one um, and make sure it gets handled. Um, again, not going to be the world's biggest priority right now. Um, and I saw that there was some issues recreating it. Um, but yeah, we'll, I'll, I'll definitely keep following up on it. Do we have consensus on where um, old centralized issue tickets are going to live if they're not going to be on GitHub? Um, we do not, and that's what I was saying I was going to bring up tomorrow during the retro, or before or after the retro. I'll probably try to talk to Josh or DeFi Cafe or Adam or some of the other guys um, and get all a consensus for what we want to do, whether that's a private GitHub or just kind of handle it through DMs until we can... I, I don't think that's probably the best solution just because I have a feeling we're going to be maintaining the back end centralized for longer than any of us want to. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll have a better answer for you guys tomorrow. It might be worth exploring building a Kanban board inside Notion, um, cause Notion does allow Kanban board templates <clears throat> and that might be a good way to pass off things still in an open manner. Um, just uh, maybe a, an option out there. Absolutely. I do. I, I, I do think there is, we have to be careful with the open manner part just in case there are links or anything. <laughs> Sort of totally. We can still also yeah. make that private, so only um, invite invite only to certain people, and everyone else won't see it on Notion. But um, yeah, that that part of it can be taken offline when you have that conversation with everyone else. For sure, for sure, it's a good idea. Thank you. Um, I also shared the single asset issues again, um, not being prioritized at the exact moment, but I at least uh, shared that. So. <laughs> It is on our list of things that we need to handle with centralized shapeshift. Awesome. I think that's this charge. And maybe in the following weeks, we'd have a better direction or a yeah. clear process on how this goes. Yeah. Thanks, Fox. Uh, I think that's just all the new um, issues that we have cleared from last week. Uh, and we could now go to the top. 
of the triage sheet if you want to, if we have any updates. Uh, surely, yeah. Let's take a look. Yeah, I was looking at the price impact um, ticket, and I had it. I was following the Kanban ticket, and I couldn't check it. So yeah, um, I was going to check on this with you. Um, yeah, um, I forget who Nanak or Eric are working on that one. Yeah, that one is in to do. Um, yeah, again, just Kanban's down, so we won't be able to physically see the ticket. But yeah, they're working on it. Um, and unfortunately, I don't have any more information about that at the moment. That yeah, outside of it being worked on. I think uh, yeah, I think Eric was working on it, and I think he mentioned that yeah, he had a, a pretty good idea for a solution. So I'll know more tomorrow morning during our stand up. Nice. What else? Uh... Do we have enough of the single asset issues to make that a ticket yet? Yeah. So that I I, I uh, grabbed a link just straight to this. Uh, doc on this separate tab the single asset issues and sent that over to him as well um so again we don't have any place to make that a ticket at the moment but uh it's on our asynchronous to-do list um and then once i know where we're putting all these centralized tickets going forwards i'll uh, uh i'll create one for it absolutely sweet is there anything else on this list we got we guys wanted to um chat about with updates or maybe things that we should be digging in a little bit deeper i know everything in green is thor related and we'd love mm -hmm. to dig into those <coughs> excuse me as soon as thor comes back up um but that will have to wait um until we do another resync and prod of our node so um, if there's anyone on the call right now that was hoping for thor updates what we can let you know is um we've had some troubles with syncing from the nine realms update and um that has given us issues with seeing all transactions um so we're resyncing the node once more um i've been given rough timelines but i'm really hesitant to say anything to not jinx it and have us start the resync over again so um i guess what i would say is i would be very surprised if we see thor back on today just given the time of the day we are and the work that still need, needs to potentially be done. Um, but I'm still hopeful that we will see Thor up before the end of the week. Nice. Thank you for that update, Tyler. Cool. I can also, I can also add to, if we're not, if we're done with the bugs themselves, um, there was supposed to be a maintenance window this morning. Um, we don't do maintenance windows very often. Um, or we try not to do maintenance windows very often. I'll, I'll, I'll correct myself. Sometimes prod issues can happen and we'll have to go into an emergency maintenance mode. But sometimes there are upgrades to our databases that require us to um, switch over to a full different URL that blocks everyone from our services for a while so we can do those maintenance things. Um, and we've got all of these old, um, the maintenance page and things like that from all centralized shapeshift that we're still going to use for doing these. Um, and operations side of it is to work really closely with <clears throat> product um, and engineering to make sure um, that all of the features that we know and we expect to work, work in staging, and then a work as well in prod. And once we can give the thumbs up that everything is working as expected, we can go out of maintenance mode. Um, we just as ops in the last couple of days though, have seen things that weren't um, going as expected in staging. So we had to punt on this maintenance window happening today. And I'm really hopeful that we'll solve it um, by um, Thursday at the latest, but we've got conscious and Adam digging in deep with middle name to get Thor back up. And I know that all of them are very interested in um, having Thor up from their own personal interest in Thor. So I would imagine we've got the right people on the team to get this going. And, well, excuse me, I'm completing Thor with um, with our maintenance window as well. Um, uh, the maintenance window is just DBs, not Thor, um, excuse me. Um, but the same people are working on both. Um, so 
Um, we've got a little bit of a log jam and um, so we'll do the maintenance window on the DBs for our membership and users. Um, and I think our graphs are being updated as well. Um, and then we'll be able to do Thor. Awesome. Anything from the community or anything else we want to cover or are we ready to uh, wrap up for the day? Yeah, I see Diggy out there in the stage. I see um, Hunt and Irina. Um, previously in centralized um, meetings, we would have uh, the shared space so people on product could talk about bugs they might be seeing in their parts or um, GK, if you get a whole bunch of people coming in saying, oh my God, I can't see my Litecoin or something like that. That's usually something that you guys might have your ear closer to the ground or um, Irina and Hunt. You guys will definitely get the Twitter storm before any of us do or it comes in. So this is also a great way for you guys to give us heads up on issues users might be having with things. Um, maybe we've been punting on a service that everyone has been clamoring for and you've got a Twitter army after you. So um, this is definitely one of those where we have all of the great like minds for us to shape even feature requests sometimes. So. Um, yeah, this would is a safe space for you to join the stage, chat, hop in the chat, or um, throw your two sets in with us. That means come on up, everyone. Don't all yeah. rush. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it um, doesn't look like there's much, um, but the, the sounds like I'm getting an affirmative and some salutes in the stage chat. Um, I would I would just uh, add t uh, for the team, you know, um, we'd love to hear. I know the Alpha has been live, you know, for a little bit now. We'd love to hear anyone, you know, anyone else is testing. Um, if if anyone in the community has been doing um, playing around with app.shapeshift.com and and finding any little things that they might want to see changed or, or even that are bugs or anything like that. We're all looking at it and we constantly keep going through it, but sometimes we miss, you know, some of the, 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 the simple things. So would love to still hear a lot of community um, feedback on that. And uh, you know, if anything comes in, creating a triage ticket is a, a great way for us to be able to track that and, and get that into the system and, and get it on this, you know, um, unresolved issues document and follow through with it and so if you guys would just help us out in that regard it would be great um, we want to we want to ship the best product as possible to softwatch intentionally so that we could kind of build the best product so all feedback is definitely helpful in that regard so if you guys could just continue uh, doing those things for um, the DAO and, and everyone it would be a great assistance for for all teams and, and parties Thanks, Narvaz. Well, awesome. This is the second week in a row that we haven't filled up the entire amount of time um, for this call. Um, and I have a feeling as processes go up, we might <clears throat> fill up that time again. Um, but potentially, maybe we can move this meeting down to less, less than a full hour. Um, Maybe that's something we can address after a couple more calls of going under that. Um, but yeah, if no one has nothing has anything else, which if you want to sign us off, um, I really enjoyed this. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, definitely. I also agree that we could like maybe um, shorten this to thirty minutes or maybe forty-five. Or yeah, it just depends on. Um, the issues that we are receiving. Uh, I think nobody has any questions in stage chat or came up. Yeah, so I think we could wrap this up, squad and Fox fam. GM everybody, thank you for um, joining us. Thanks all. Have a good one. Thank you, everyone. Thanks.